Quick question. Do you like chocolate? Who doesn't really, right? No matter what type of chocolate, you almost can't go wrong. But can you? Take this box of chocolates. We've all seen these at our grandma's. And like Forrest Gump famously said, you never know what you're gonna get. That's why I can't stand these. Half of them end up in the trash with one bite mark. And if you're not doing it, I absolutely know you know somebody that is. So why in the hell am I talking about chocolate in a golf video? It's a metaphor for these, the golf industry's box of chocolates reloads. Today, we're talking about refurbished or refinished golf balls and whether or not you should be playing them or ever buying them. Let's get it. All right, refurbished golf balls. I'm sure a lot of you have either seen them or bought them from places like Walmart or Dick's. And if you haven't, you might have with refinished or refurbished from popular sites like lostgolfballs.com. I mean, when you really think about it, it sounds like a heck of a deal. Half cost for Pro V1s, why wouldn't you? No one would ever know, but your score might. Let's face it, reloads are purchased for one reason, price, and we don't blame you. It sucks losing $25 every round to the ponds in the woods and shooting 102. So why not pay half price? We're gonna find out today. Back to those cost savings. Will it actually hinder your game, show up on the scorecard in a negative way? I'm gonna argue that it will, so stick with me and I'll explain. First off, never assume that when you buy a dozen refurbished Pro V1Xs that what's on the inside is actually Pro V1Xs. True story. Check out this crazy picture that Bennett received from somebody buying reloads. The ball says Titus, but look really close. It's actually a Callaway. What? All right, if you're lucky enough not to get a box with the Skies logos, the next problem you're dealing with is age. You could be getting an assortment of balls that are a decade old, and we know how much technology has come forward in the last 10 years in golf ball tech. So we don't really need to explain how much that might actually impact your game. Another issue with age when it comes to refurbished golf balls is compression. Over time, golf balls will firm up. So the longer they're out there, the firmer they get. Typically, that's not a bad thing. What we find is firmer balls have higher ball speeds, go farther. But we actually found the opposite with refurbished balls. They firmed up, but became slower off the driver and shorter distances. All right, so here's a couple reasons why that might be the case. We found that refurbished golf balls both get bigger and heavier due to the refurbished process of painting. But let's get to the real sticking point when it comes to refurbished golf balls. The only balls getting refinished are the ones that are complete and total shit. These refinished balls are the scuffed, nicked, chunked balls, the ones that are compromised in some way. They basically look like a dog chewed them up. So not only are you buying old, possibly brand knockoff balls, you're just buying beat up balls. And Tony, the ball expert here, basically said it best when he said refurbished golf balls have aerodynamic disruption. All right, we've talked a lot about the physical features of refurbished balls and the cons these companies play that would even make Saul Goodman blush. But what about the data? Can these refurbished balls, despite their blemishes, still actually perform? Or is it just putting lipstick on a pig? Let's dive in. All right, quick disclaimer. When it came to the data, we thought it would be best to buy the Titleist Pro V1 reloads as that is the number one ball in golf. We robot tested it with both driver and eight iron to find out once and for all if you should be spending your money on reloads or throwing them in the trash. Let's take brand new Pro V1. Driver for fast, 326.8 yards. Reload, 313.7. That is 13 yards loss of distance. Now, let's go to mid swing speed. Brand new Pro V1, 280.6 yards. Reload, 273. Almost eight yards difference. Now, let's go to the slow swing speeds. Brand new, 232.1. Reload, 229.1. Three yards loss of distance. Now, let's go to the eight iron. Brand new Pro V, 
Fast swing speed, 200.4 yards. Reload, 192.2. That's over eight yards distance loss by just playing a reloaded golf ball. Mid swing speed, 174.6 for the brand new. Reload, 169.3, over five yards of loss. Now we'll go to slow swing speed. Brand new Pro V1, 139.4 yards. Reload, 139.9. So no matter what club, no matter what swing speed, you're losing ball speed and distance with reload every single time. So when it comes to reloads versus new, it didn't matter the club or the swing speed. If you are buying reloaded golf balls, you are losing club speed and you are losing significant distance. So if distance doesn't matter to you and you're still thinking, who cares? I'll still buy reloads. Let me give you some more evidence. When we tested the reloads, not only were they shorter, they were heavier, they were firmer, they were bigger, they were more inconsistent. Takeaway basically is reloads aren't even the same ball. They just have the same name. We're getting to the end here. So let's go back to the original question that we asked. Should you actually save money by trying to buy refurbished golf balls? The answer is no, please don't do it. Stop. Don't ever buy refinished or refurbished golf balls again. Matter of fact, tell every golfer you know to never buy refurbished or refinished golf balls ever. It's not worth it. But before we go, we wanted to make sure to give you some alternatives because our job truly is your game. And these are trash. Our website, mygolfspy.com, is the best resource to find golf balls at a fair price. Think Snell, Maxfly, Vice. Another option is lostgolfballs.com that we mentioned earlier. Everyone here at My Golf Spy is more than happy recommending their Mint 5A golf balls, which perform as good and you save a few bucks as well. Lastly, if you're trying to save money and there is no way you would ever spend $50 on a dozen of golf balls or you're a college kid and don't have the money, you'd probably be better off just buying the $12 Kirklands over the Pro V1 Reloads. I don't know if we've ever recommended the Kirklands, but there you go. Like I said in the beginning, don't waste your money on Goff's box of chocolates.